Jesus Christ, Tommy. You confessed into a shootout in a church. And I ain't even through the hard stuff yet. You know, I could take you in right now, put your blind bars, and tell you all in gray. Maybe. If you think you can make any of it stick. But then you'd never know about Morello. Hey, fellas. Sorry to keep you waiting. My shift just started. What you having? Two lunch specials, please. And more coffee. You know what? Let's bring the whole pot. All right, we've come this far together. What kind of heat did you get from the church? It's a strange thing. Nothing really came of it all. Always figured Celieri paid off someone somewhere because it wasn't even in the papers. We just had to lay low for seven, eight months. The cops kept showing up at the bar just to remind us they were watching. And Frank caught wind that Morello was helping Galati get reelected, hoping he'd go after the Don. We recovered some account books from Morello's offices. 33 was a pretty good year for him. Bastard knew we were bleeding out before we did. While we were busy keeping our heads down, he started moving in on our rackets. Quiet at first, a few trucks go missing. Uh, top burner has one too many highballs, drives off a bridge. One of our regular pickups suddenly closes up shop, moves upstate. You need didn't catch on? Not me. I think maybe Polly smelled something. But even with the cops looking over our shoulders and Morello circling, we were still making good money. And with the Dom worried about keeping the heat off, we didn't have much to do, except drink, have a few laughs. And every time I went into Celieri's, there was Sarah. So it was a good year. Until Frank. A Coletti, a dance can sick Yeah, that's right. He set me straight. He set us all straight. There's a lot of buzz around town about you guys. Yeah, we got into a little scrap last night. It's no big deal. I don't care about the bar fight, Tom. I care how it looks when you walk into a club and buy everyone around. Uh, we gotta do something with her, though. Then blow it at the track on Sunday. Or take a dame to a show. Or invest it, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? <laughs> don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes so you don't get strangled by them. You ever have a dog, Tom? Sure. A little mutt when I was a kid. When I was eight or nine, before I came over from the Sicily, I had this beautiful, skinny Cherneco de Letna. Like a little greyhound. Fastest dog you've ever seen. That's how I met the Don. We started setting up races together. Betting on her with coins and rifle shells. There wasn't another dog that could catch her. She never lost. Until the day she did. We were only out of pocket knife, but I never saw the Don so angry. She got old on you? No. Pregnant. She went into heat, got out of the yard, and every dog in town had a turn. You're like that dog, Tommy. Every time you flash your money around, you're a bitch in heat. And everyone in that club is now looking to fuck you. And once you get fucked, you're no good to us. Do you understand? Uh, you made your point. Good. Because you need to think about your career here. Look, Paulie's at his ceiling. He's the guy we want in a tussle, but he's not smart enough to run anything. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy, you could run this town someday. Well, I appreciate that, Frank. So, uh, what happened to the dog? The Don tried to drown her. I broke his nose. You can let me off here. Give Sarah my best, Tommy.
Back then, everything went through Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the call day or night. Ah, Tommy. Frank says to wait for him in the garage out in the back, eh? You got the job, I think. Thanks, Luigi. Sarah's cooking. She's bringing something over. In this rain? <laughs> She's a good girl. I'll see you tomorrow, Luigi. Finally, some night action. Welcome, guys, to another chapter of Mafia. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry about that, my throat is not the best these days. I guess it's a changing of season, I guess I don't like, but I don't know. I don't have time for your stories. I have my own job to do. Thanks for waiting, Tom. But Don and I had to go over last month's numbers again. Sure. So what's the job? I want you to help Sam and Polly with the shipment we've got coming in tonight. The good stuff? Straight from Canada. Where do you need me? Sam's gone to meet our friends from the north at the farm outside of town. Polly will oversee the trucks bringing the shipment into the city. But I want you to go with him. Be an extra pair of eyes. Make sure it all goes smoothly. Okay. Get the car from Ralphie and meet Paulie at the warehouse. He's got heaters in case you run into any trouble. Sure, Frank. No problem. Good. Now bring the Canadian home safe, Tommy. There is already a case earmarked for the Don. Hey, Ralphie. Are you late, Ralphie? I says his sleep when f -f Frank sleeps. Man, he's been working us hard. Morello's taking bites out of business everywhere else, Ruff. Booze records where we shine. We gotta stay ahead someplace. Ah, well, I, I just f f f fixed the cars to time. I, I changed the p -p plates again. You can't be too careful. See you in the morning. Okay. Oh, this looks like a real mafioso car. And Ralph is right, you cannot be too safe, so dry careful guys. Not like this. <laughs> this is everything but careful. But it's the game, so nobody cares. Oh, shut up, copper.
And here we are to the warehouse. Let's make it seven poly and let's get going. Damn, that car is wrecked. <laughs> Come on, Tom! Hey, hey! Watch it, pal! Just try it out! Sorry. Notice place. Oh, uh, yeah. We've done a few pickups at the farm before. Don't worry. There ain't nothing but cow shit and shine out here. It's gonna be an easy few clams. Boys will load up the trucks, and we'll come straight back. Yeah, let's make it quick. I got some place to be. Ah, uh, you see it sooner or later. Luigi's little girl, your night shift. <laughs> You're something else, pal. Protecting the girl's virginity one day and taking it the next. Lay off, Polly. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just kidding. She's a good girl. You settle down, she'll straighten you right out. You're going home to a couch. <laughs> now, I wonder what kind of story she could tell about her old man, though. Luigi was a stone cold killer back in the day. I wouldn't know. You know she's been helping out behind the bar since she was a kid. I bet she's seen and heard a few things. Probably knows more about our business than we do. She knows enough not to ask me too many questions. That's good. She won't ever make a liar out of you. Christ. You ought to marry her just for that. God damn it. Sam should be waiting here, but I don't see him. Something smells off. Don't let your Pekka get all shriveled up. Probably just trying to get out of the rain. Or into the bootleg. <laughs> That'll wake him. He ain't coming. Okay. Let's go find him. That bastard is just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Here, just in case Frank was right. I'm gonna go grab them boys, get them sorted out. You go ahead, see what's what. We'll catch up with you. Sammy, Sammy, where are you? Why are you not answering to my siren? One footer out of work. Hmm, interesting, interesting. There's some clue over here. Yeah, we pay to keep this place in check. Don't even pretend to farm now. <laughs> Place is derelict. Oh, cigarette cards. Nice. Carlo Falcone. Where oh. the hell are you hiding? There's his truck. He should be in his truck, right? Hey, buddy. Jesus, drop your weapon. You first. We don't have time for this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Okay, then. Get over here. I got him pinned down. I'm gonna drop you off the bridge. Over here. Get this guy off me. Oh, I got one straight into the head. This here should be the last one. Yep. Yes, yes. Oh, not the last one. Okay, good to know we, we have a health here. Sh 
shotgun ammo. I'll take it. Who's this? Not here. <laughs> so it's drinkable, I guess. Moonshine. Is that why I'm here to collect with the moonshine? Let's see. Corpse farm nine o'clock. Uh -huh. This is the drone map for the guys who were waiting Sam here. But where is Sam? Poor bastard must have taken longer to die. And this is not Sam. Sammy! So long. Looking for Sammy? Did you find him? Nah, not yet. Just him. Canadian crew. Dollars to donuts to rest their face down in the dirt, too. Oh, Christ. The cops, Tommy. How would I know? They didn't show a badge. God, they didn't say anything. They must be in Morello's pocket. This bastard. He can't even let us have this one racket. Forget about it, Tom. We gotta find Sam and get out of here. Okay, boys, what's the plan here? You got something? Polly, you too? Okay, listen up. You know, sometimes I like to stand around like a goddamn mook too. Come on, Tom. What's with you? Don't interrupt me. Now, we are going to go in guns blazing. Going in hot, understand? Just cover my six and don't worry about shit. Got it? Let's go. These guys are the real deal. They gotta be cops from the border patrol. They've come heavy, all right. They lost heaven to me with my twisty cats. Yo, bully. What the hell, man? There's a ton of blood here, and you just ran in like an idiot. Who are these guys? Looks like we found the Canadians. Oh, my guys. No. Uh, is this Sam? Poor bastards. Okay, let's take some Molotovs. Sammy, you in here? Guys, hide! Don't hide where I'm standing. Grabbing cover! Ah, he killed himself. Nice throw, by the way. Ah, you won't surprise me, buddy. Oh, Tommy Gun, should I take it? Mm, should I take it? I feel like I should. There's probably going to be tons of shotguns around, so let's take the Tommy gun. Yeah, man, you scared me. Um, there's something over here, actually. Oh, maybe up there. How do I get up? Yes, from here. No. 
through the barrels. No, I cannot go. There's a clue here. Let's see. They are. Okay, Sim must be here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on. Quiet. Sneak around. Wasn't Sam, luckily. Oh, there's Sam. He got wounded. Come on, fellas. Push through. I'm out. Tommy Gun is out. I don't need Tommy gun, I need one shotgun. <laughs> Not one shotgun, but one shotgun. Don't understand what I'm saying. I need to switch. Oh, no. I don't need to switch. Just some ammo for the road. More ammo? No. You boys stay here and watch our backs. Plug anyone who gets within a hundred yards. Except us. Just hang on. I'll go get the truck. Then we'll take you to the doctor. Hey, hey, you're gonna make it, Sam. <laughs> Tommy, mm. stay here with him. I'll be back. I'll be back in a flash. Okay. Hey, hey, it'll be okay, Sam. We survived worse. Sure. Sure we are. Where'd all these guys Take come from? Take your now, pal. Got it. Take your over here. Come to cover. You sure we survived worse? Ow. There you go, another one. I don't have any molotovs anymore. Okay, fill up, fill up, Tommy. Get some ammo. Oh, nice. Nice, now we're talking. Damn, that was easy. Almost too easy. I'm hurting over here. Jesus, this hurts. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Where's the goddamn truck? Crap, we got cops. I 
I'm just going to hope this is the only way up. If there's another way up, I'm aft, man. I'm aft. Stupid copper. Where do you think you are going, man? <laughs> Not on my watch. Oh Christ! Tony and Donnie too? Yeah. What a fucking massacre. How's Sam? Well, he ain't any worse. I'll go get him. Keep an eye out. I wish I can reload a little bit faster. Can I go up to his tires maybe? Of course they do. got one driver let me try to get another one There's a bike here. Oh, bikes are easy. Oh, 
Ollie, we need to go now! This thing's falling apart! Gone. We need to take out the gun there. The gun is out. What are you doing here so late? Uh, uh, evening, Doc. Sorry to wake you, but um, we had a little accident. We got an injured man out here. All right, bring him inside. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, I'll stay with Sam. You can take the truck back. Call it a night. No, I'll wait. <laughs> the Doc's already got his hands full. No sense of both of us breathing down his neck. Go on, Tom. I'm gonna be fine. Okay. Hey. You did good tonight. Hmm, I need to go back to Sarah's. Okay, fine. Well, let's go and brag about how we did good. As Polly said. What's wrong with this car, man? Oh, okay, fine. Sarah's apartment is on the other other side of the town so for you guys i just skip to that fine fine sarah's place i'm not going to drive it up to there but oh from the other side okay okay fine that man she really lives in like tough neighborhood i guess it's quiet and peaceful but it's dirty.
you're late, dinner's cold. Damn it. <laughs> it was so hard to hold it in, not to laugh about it last thing, you know. Like, man, we... Okay. <laughs> oh my god, the best marriage proposal I've ever seen. And the best acceptance. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. I'm not gonna take any more of your time. I hope you enjoyed this chapter and this episode and I hope I'll see you all in the next one. Subscribe and bye. <laughs>